boy. <laughs> I am tuckered out. You guys want to play Monopoly or something? Shouldn't you be getting home? Well, I really have to make sure that Joanne is in a real deep sleep, you know, because I kind of have the tendency to plop into bed. Yeah, Mush Mush told us. Hey, I know. How about Pictionary? I'll get a sketch pad. Oh, don't you feel bad for Robert? I, I feel bad for you, because I'm going to bed. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Listen, you've got to talk to Robert. He's so unhappy with Joanne. Well, he's not unhappy. What? So she's a little bossy, all right? He seems fine with that. She's always putting him down, and he just sits there and takes it. Hey. That's marriage. <laughs> their marriage. That's their marriage over there. Just tell him that he should talk to Joanne about the way she treats him and how that makes him feel. How about I just I'll tell him to go home, and then you and I can go upstairs and shake it up. <laughs> if you don't talk to him, I will. I'll no, don't. Him. No. Would you look? Uh, I'll talk to him, okay? I know, I know what to say. Uh, found a deck of cards, crazy eights. <laughs> Listen, Robert, you really, you really should go home to your wife, because Deborah's got to pump breast milk. <laughs> yeah, you know what to say. I don't have to pump. Robert, it's just that um, you and Joanne, I mean, we think Joanne is great, uh, but just sometimes, uh, you know, with you, she can be not very nice. And um, we were just thinking that it would help you if you told her, how, Robert, stop looking at my breasts. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, you know, Joanne has to put up with a lot for me. You know, I, I, I'm not the easiest person to live with. I, uh, I'm hairy and smelly, and I'm really kind of like an animal. Hi, dear. Hi, Marie. Hi. Hi. Hey, well, I told you to. Come on, you can't come in here anymore if you don't knock. Gotcha. Hey, your old lady's looking for you. Joanne? Yeah. She was a little short with me on the phone. I think she's worried about you. I don't like that one. Why can't you just be happy that Robbie found someone? What are you going to learn? It's not our place to meddle in our children's lives. But, Marie, I don't think it's meddling if you love and care about the person. <laughs> you know, you're just, you're just strolling down the railroad tracks, and you don't hear the woo-woo! <laughs> Robert, I think what your father is trying to say is that sometimes Joanne is... A nutcracker. Dad, you're talking about my wife. A nutcracker! <laughs> Bobby, you really should... No. No. I'm not butting in. Live your life. <laughs> Robert, you just seem so unhappy. <laughs> What is this, some kind of intervention? I happen to love Joanne. She, she's strong, she's independent. You don't know anything about her. You don't know about our private life. We have chemistry. I remember when you took chemistry. That was the year you had no eyebrows. <laughs> I don't appreciate this. I really don't. The family's not supposed to be like this. If no one is going to support me, then I'd just rather y'all butt out. <laughs>